Also now at 11, we're seeing another angle of the massive house explosion in Broward. Tonight, a young boy who was inside that house is out of the hospital. His mother and sister are still hospitalized. We're also hearing from the owner of that home that blew up. Lena Salzbank joins us live from West Park with reaction tonight. Lena. That's right. I spoke to the owner of this home who says right now he's just feeling blessed. He says when he saw the news of this house explosion, he thought for sure his family was dead. Well, thankfully, they are alive, but I must warn you, their injuries can be hard to look at. Uh, when I see the situation, I always think about maybe all of them gone. Renis Ledix owned the home on Southwest 20th Street and 52nd Avenue that was reduced to rubble after an explosion sent debris crashing onto homes all over this West Park neighborhood on Tuesday. I went there yesterday. I'm passed by, but you know, nobody can I get in there. I'm passed by, I see the situation is critical. The explosion was captured on a doorbell camera and shows the size of the blast that neighbors say could be felt for blocks. Ledix's family was inside the home when the explosion erupted. I could say I'm less because everybody, oh, I don't know how to say that, but uh, to me, I could say everybody's going to get survived the way I see them. His family made it out alive, but were taken to the hospital with what he describes as burns across their face and bodies. Yeah, I just coming from see them, they talk now. So, but you know, they born, they born, and one is about 27 degrees, one is, the, the worst one is 22. They have a lot of burns? Yeah, they got a lot of burns. Just two days after his home was destroyed, officials tell Ledix they are still investigating the cause of the explosion, but believe gas could have been a factor. They say it's a gas, but I don't use gas in the house. Neighbors say regardless of the cause, they are still on edge. And on Thursday, Memorial Hospital's mental health representatives offering services to those who need it. And a local church bringing a little joy to a neighborhood that needs all the support they can get. This was a devastating occurrence here in the city of West Park yeah. and we just want this community to know that we are praying for. According to Broward Fire Rescue, the boy that lives here and was taken to the hospital was actually released. Meanwhile, his mother and sister will continue getting care, but the family says they are talking to them. In West Park, Lena Salzbank, NBC6 News.